Hey, what's up, Scar? What's up, Scar? Been a minute, man. We back. You're back at it. Back at it. Uh, are you nervous? Yes, a little bit, but we're good. Okay. Guys, we're actually gonna talk about tattoos today. Oh, tattoos. tattoos. Okay. I got some. Tattoos. I can do that. We Oh man, my first tattoo was very simple, very small, and straight to the point, which was my three dots. My first tattoo was my name. Uh, I have it on my ankle. I wanted it to be cool. I didn't want my mom to see it. And that's the one I regret the most. Oh no. <laughs> I, got, I had to get it right away because I was young and I thought I was really cool and crazy. And I was like, it's, I'm about that life, let's do it. Like It was just some deep, deep moments when I was young. <laughs> well, my first tattoo is I got my son's name on my chest. Aw, of course, nice. My first tattoo, it's on, <laughs> it's on my back. Um, and it's in French because at the time I was learning French, I was 18. Um, and it just says, never forget the music. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm definitely like the symbolism person with my tattoos. Like mm -hmm. all my tattoos have a meaning, except one, I have a little hand on my thigh that I just thought was cute. I mean, just for anyone like Hustler, like, I mean, I'm a hustler, so I had to get it because, I mean, that's what I am, you know? And my stepdaughter's name, I mean, my other daughter's name. Righteous, I'm a righteous hustler. Just, yeah, everything just has a meaning. I like skulls, you know? The one that really, I really wanted people to see and see how I felt was the one that I have on the side of my head. Well, it says, what you think? So the reason I got that was because everywhere I used to go, people look at you different. So uh, I wanted people to read it and see that I, mean, I didn't really care what they thought about me. I guess it's a scar. I mean, that made me to who I am today. Um, I guess it stands out, you know, that's the first thing you see when you see me. And I think I like this one the most because, like if you notice, all my other tattoos are kind of just lines. Uh -huh. Like I like simple lines, but this one he really went in and like shaded and did like a, a lot more with it. So I think it's my most beautiful tattoo. I like my golem. At the time, Lord of the Rings, wow. I think Gollum, he's cool. He has an evil side and a good side, and I think we all have it, so. This heart that I have, it's a broken heart on my back of my hand, and uh, it's got a bandit on it. Pretty much saying, like, I've been through so much, but I'm gonna be okay. So, especially this one. I always look at this one, I'm having a hard time. This one usually gets me through my day. None of them, all my primos and primas, none of them have tattoos. And I think it's because, like, the family does judge. And then my dad, every time I come home with a new tattoo, he's just like so disappointed. It's as if it's like the worst thing in the whole world that I got a tattoo. Yes, it still is. With our parents, it still is. You know, I, I think um, back in the days, tattoos weren't ex uh, as accepted as they are now. Realistically, the truth is, before, if you were tatted, you were a gangster. Mm -hmm. You were active, and, and that's what it was, you know? Uh, sadly, nobody's seen it for what it really was, which it was artwork. Um, now everybody's getting tattoos. Some um, everywhere is more, uh, it's more out there, and, and the tattoos are getting better too. They're looking like, like printouts. We've been more busier now than we were four years ago. I used to get maybe a few customers uh, uh, during the week. You know, maybe I'll tat maybe like four out of the week, and now, man, we tattoo grandmas, parents, daughters, granddaughters, even jobs now. They take you in if you're tatted. Now they, they, it's okay with it, you know, even restaurants. I've tattooed officers, police officers, you know, doctors. It's it's out there now. Actors being tatted out now. I mean, I don't think so much now, but yeah, definitely when I was younger, uh, always stereotype, just looked on, got hit up, ran up on please pull her over, what is she doing? It's kind of like the way theme parks have changed when back in the days when they just started getting stricter, let's say at Magic Mountain, as soon as me and my homies rolled up, they didn't let us in. There was a one time that they turned us away. We couldn't go into the theme park because we had tattoos. Yeah, but, yeah. but I think now it's more accepted more than ever. I think it's kind of weird if you don't have tattoos. Yeah. 
Oh my God. Why'd you get that? That's what you get? I hate that, yeah. Why'd you get that? No, You're dumb. You know, the, the, <laughs> the worst, and I get this all the time, come on, people, be creative. Don't ask me if it hurts. You're like, duh, of course they... they They're cutting your skin <laughs> with a needle. <laughs> In reality, is. If you want to look cool, you got to take the pain. Yeah, right? That's, yeah. That's basically it, you know? Ask me what, what, does, what does that tattoo mean or, yeah. or compliment or, or like, wow. Or, or say, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing at all, you know? Don't say nothing. Well, I know for sure the, the most painful spot was right here on, on the top of my head. Like, I can't, I, I can still feel it if I think about it. To me, actually, it's just with the, it's the shading. The shading, it doesn't even matter where it's at. I think once you got the shading going on. The neck right here, you feel like they're cutting you with a razor blade. Oh. I have a few that, that really hurt really bad. I don't think I could ever get a neck tattoo. Not because I don't think they, they're cool, I think they're cool. I just like, that feeling, oh, yes. it would be so weird. It's, I got them because to me it was meaningful. Yeah. So yeah. I, I wanted to show them off and I wanted to, sh when I look myself in the mirror, I see them. Mm -hmm. So to me it was a must, I had to. Yeah. Like even my first one that is like maybe the one that I regret, but it, it's me at that time, yeah, like 18 time, year old yeah. me. Good for her, yeah. I brought, whatever, good for her. It was at that moment. I don't know why I did this, but I was young and dumb and I thought I was in love. But um, yeah, right here, I got some red roses covering up a name. And we're just gonna say a name. I don't have to say the name, no promotion necessary. But that's what happened. When you're in jail and prison, you're always on your boxers. Mm. So I don't have no tattoos and you have your name right there. So like, it, you could see it right away. So a lot of the homeboys clown me on me for it. Yeah. <laughs> your name, fool? Really? Uh, yeah, that, that one's my, my regret, my name. Right now, a lot of people are getting like roses. Oh yeah. So everybody gets a rose on the hand. The or, money. Or a skull. The bills, oh, yeah, the, money. the bills, the money. That's blessed, okay. people get blessed. blessed. Yeah. You know, a lot of people passed away because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are getting portraits. Uh, something to remind them of their families, you know? Sometimes I tell them not to get crosses or, or, or just the name or stuff like that. Sometimes I tell them to get something that will remind them of them every day. You know, me as an artist, I try to make my customer uh, get something they're not gonna regret and they're gonna love forever, you know? Because I tell them that it's gonna be there for the rest of their lives. I mean, I tell teenagers all the time, make sure it's something you want. Don't get drunk before. Yes. Because uh, that's silly, especially for your first one. Don't rush into it. Yeah, I'm 18, let's go. No, slow down. Just like make sure it's something you want, right? Like, because that's something that's a part of you. Yeah, I know they could, like, there's all this laser and everything now. Because back then we didn't have that choice. Somewhere in with face, face tattoos or hand tattoos, you got to be real careful with that. People still don't accept it as much. So. I always tell them that. I mean, you could do whatever you want, but just start somewhere where you're, you're not gonna, like only you can see it or- Get the feel for it. Yeah, take it one at a time. Like, I, I really love the way it makes me look. I, I feel great in it. I like the way, like I, it was just me as I was growing up. And I, I, I love everything about it. That just, just, just represents me. When you tattoo someone, you tattoo them for, for maybe a few hours. It's like therapy. The customers will talk to you about their personal lives, and um, it's cool. I knew I, wa I wanted to get these horn tattoos since I was a kid. I knew I was gonna get this scar when I was a kid. Like, I knew what I wanted, like, since I was a kid. So sometimes you just become who you wanna be, and I mean, this is, I, I love it, and I plan on getting more tattoos, so be ready for that. What was your first tattoo and when did you get it? Oh, I got my first tattoo, it's right here on my ankle. It's a it's a flower. This one right here was my first one. My little Elvis tribute, I got it when I turned 18, like the second I turned 18. It was this one. So I like try to keep it inside to hide it, you know? What was your family's reaction to your first tattoo? They don't really like it too much, but now that I'm all into it, 
There's nothing else they can do. I tattooed me and my brothers when we were maybe like 13, so they were pretty pissed. Our mom passed away, uh, and we did not have any before her. Her rule was, I have to die before you get tattoos, yeah. so we said, you got it. <laughs> She's like, no, like, we don't do that. Women don't do that. We don't get tattoos. Like, it's like against our culture. What is your favorite tattoo? I think my favorite is my little three sword heart one, which actually it's kind of another matching thing we did. We got heart tattoos got together heart tattoo. for a song from a band we like. It's called Heart Tattoo, so we got heart tattoos. Yeah. It's right there. He looks like a, those temporary ones you get on the yeah, slot machines. I yeah, like the guy did such a good job, but I love it because, well, one, it looks so good. And two, it just represents my brother, like our relationship. That one went back to cross. Nice. Yeah, I could have a lot of faith in God, you know. <laughs> it's it's quite big. It's a it's a rooster surrounded in a uh, Nepali cactus. Um, like I said, it's not done yet, but uh, that's probably my favorite. Do you have a tattoo that you regret? This little Jack Skellington thing that I did when I was 13. Uh, and just all these stupid, silly little tattoos. I have one that's not perfect, but I don't regret getting it. I regret this one right here. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's my ex-wife. Ah. Uh, and I didn't want to wear a ring, so I got that, so I regret that. <laughs> Do you feel like you've ever been profiled for having tattoos, whether it be in a job or a date? Whenever I see, they see me, like, with my hands on my on the steering wheel, they always ask me, like, are you gang affiliated? Especially, I have, like, West Side and SA. So they, they definitely. People will look at you a certain way. You don't belong in certain places. Uh, certain tattoos mean certain meanings, so they look at that. If you go to, you know, like North Fresno, which is a wider part of town, you'll definitely get looked at a little bit more just because they're like, oh, that's an interesting decision to make with your life, you know, so. <laughs> Are your tattoos more like artwork? Like you like the artists or do they all have meaning? Uh, I have half and half. That's another thing that I felt like it wasn't bad to get a tattoo because it had a beautiful meaning behind it. And all of them do. I like the artist. This one has meaning that we both have. Um, but other than that, it's just stuff I like. Nice. Yeah. What about for you? About the same. I like art. I like having art on me and showing it. So I think that was really something fun for me. Super easy takeaway from this conversation is that I know exactly where I'm gonna get my next tattoo with Lefty. All right, so pretty much just be original. Don't worry about what other people think and uh, make sure you do your research before you get a tattoo and get it right and that's it. We still get judged for how we look, but it's all good. Um, we're good on this side. Yo, yo, girl, Dolly Girl here, reminding you guys, do not forget, any tattoo is a meaningful tattoo. As long as it comes from your heart and soul and it's your tattoo, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Yeah, they might not like it, but who cares, right? It's all about you. Hey guys, it's Mike, the director of this episode of Latinos Talk. My big takeaway is what Lefty's tattoo said, you know, what you think. If you guys wanna get a tattoo and it's something that means something to you and you wanna express yourselves, go ahead and do it. Who cares what anyone else thinks? Let them judge you as long as you're happy with it. In fact, my biggest takeaway is I want another tattoo right now and I'm gonna go to Lefty to get it. So I'm gonna go get tatted up. You keep the conversation going in the comments. Tell us about your tattoos, your parents' reactions to your tattoos, how many you have. And until next time, we'll see you in the next episode of Latinos Talk.